patriotism, sacrifice, and the fierce battle for America's future lie at the heart of today's political battlefield. The deep-rooted cries for personal freedom, the unyielding belief in free markets, and the enduring spirit of traditional patriotism echo through the nation. Yet in this tumultuous landscape, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez's message strikes a chord with those who see economic inequality and corporate power as the gravest threats to our democracy. For them, her vision represents hope, a beacon of leadership dedicated to the well-being of the people and the nation's future. In Kamala Harris, I see a leader who understands. I see a leader with a real commitment to a better future for working families. And Chicago, we have to help her win. Because we know that Donald Trump would sell this country for a dollar if it meant lining his own pockets and greasing the palms of his Wall Street friends. And I, for one, am tired about, of hearing about how a two-bit union buster thinks of himself as more of a patriot than the woman who fights every single day to lift working people out from under the boots of greed, trampling on our way of life. But this isn't just a clash of ideas. It's a visceral, emotional struggle. AOC's investigation feels like a direct challenge to the vision of leadership embodied by Donald Trump. For many, Trump is more than a leader. He's a symbol of sacrifice, a patriot who, as they believe, took a bullet for America. His supporters see him as the living embodiment of traditional American values, rooted in personal sacrifice and an unwavering commitment to national security. On the other side, frustration brews. The left's attempts to redefine patriotism through the lens of class struggle and union, advocacy, clash violently with the cherished ideals of personal freedom and free market principles. It's a battle not just for the future, but for the very soul of what it means to be American. 